Hey, family, friends, and fellow gamers. Welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am the Grumpy Gnome. Let's get into some Banished. All right, guys, let's get our people moving first. So here we go. I have brought your attention to our northern border. Actually, we are in the very northeastern border. And you remember from, was it yesterday's adventure, we built these four little mini nodes right here. So there's one, here's two, and if we were to scroll down, here's another one. And the other one should be right around over here somewhere. So anyway, they're going to go ahead and build out these mini nodes. And I figure this might be another nice little district to build up. So I went ahead and I put two more um, of the, I want to call them normal size, but they're not really. They're the kid uh, node buildings, if you even want to call them buildings, up here. These are the ones that we've been using throughout the entire game, though. Let's see, do this, and then that'll bring us down. What I did, somehow this became evenly spaced between here. So, and I drew a road right down the center. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put a little extra housing down here. And we're going to go ahead and put in some, another manufacturing district. Because one thing that we noticed here is our tools are on a very slow decline. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in some mines right here. And I'm probably going to do iron mines instead of the precious ones. I may even throw a coal mine in there for good measure because I want to get this area manufacturing its own so it could basically sustain its own. We dropped below the 300 mark, which is cool, but wrong way. Let's take this down to 90. I usually like to keep an even number, 90, 80, of builders here. Because one thing I found out when I had too many builders, the materials weren't going out or the areas weren't being cleared fast enough. Now, one thing I probably want to start looking into is opening these up. How's our housing situation coming? It's not really. We're still 80 or 70 off. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open these. Does that look like it's off? Remember, if ever you want to check your alignment, do the remove tool and just scroll over everything. But don't do that. Okay, guess what I get to replant? Okay, we'll do that offline. But in the meantime, I'm going to go, go ahead and open these up. Boy, that was a doofus move. Yeah, I, I realize what my mistake was on that. Oops, I guess we need to come here and just kind of open everything up. Okay, what else we got? We got you, open you up. We got you, open you up. I went ahead offline and just ran around the map during my planning. And anything that had a question mark on it, I went ahead and I populated it. And so if we were to run down our list here, everything has the right number of people in it now. Ah, nuts on a biscuit. That, that aggravated me because I had all of this laid out perfectly for the distance between the two. I had a road going up here. I mean, I could still work on that. But this really sucks because I can't see what's going on. 
I'm going to go ahead and drop in a school up here already because that was one of the main things that I'm scared about is once all these houses get filled is that we're going to run out of education. And because we are back in the sticks here, I figure I'm going to go with my old trusty sacred wood school. There's the bottom road. And there's the road going up through the center. So I'm actually going to build this. Where's my bottom road? There it is. I'm going to let them already stick this into here. Boom. So that we're going to have that school for these people. And, oh, mini storage. Nope. I want whatever you are. Another forester. Yep. Whoa. Okay, there must be more foresters going in. Oh my gosh, we broke 300. Raise the roof. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I would be celebrating that, but I am going to go ahead. I know that off the center, I can go one mine to either direction. So let me go ahead and put that in already. So we're going to go back to our trusty little ones. We're going to find that road, which looks like it's right there. Yep. So I'm going to split this mine right in the middle. And I'm just going to go up and up and up and up and up. And I'm going to take him as high as I can go. Which will be right there. And then I'm going to come... To the right, 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 drop one there. I'm going to go to the left, 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 and I'm going to drop one there. And I could probably do one more on each side. Let's see what happens with that. Gosh, I sure hope that is right. Let's see. One way to find out, watch me mess this up again, guys, is to do this. Remove structure. See, now that sure does not look even. It seriously doesn't. I'm going to take, no, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see where our road is. Remove roads. Okay, there's our mistake. I came up one of these roads for the center point when these roads are actually outlining the boundary of our circle of influence. I believe that's what it is. I don't know. You know what? We need to clear this area. I'm going to go ahead and take my mines out. I'm not ready to build those yet. And let's get some of this area cleared out. Let's get some life into these areas. Okay. We've got more question marks down here. And you know what? I think for now, we've spent enough time in this region. The one other thing I probably would want to do. And you know what? And that has me guessing where I put my school now. I, I need to clear this area out because if that school goes into the wrong location, I am going to get frustrated. Yeah, I'm, I'm take it out. Okay, let's go to a different area. Nomads, let's get rid of them. They're all here, which means that they're at the immigration office. 189 of them. Sorry, guys. Can't do it. 
Because if there were 189 and every one of them grabbed 100 food, it, I mean, it looks good that it's actually going up. We're at 175K right now, but I guarantee you that can spiral in a heartbeat. Okay, let's um, let's look at some other areas. I think we've spent enough time there. And well, let's start. Let's go back up to that area and then work our way around. Well, there's a lot of traders. If we needed something, can't think of anything. Oh, this district here. This was the district I was telling you about that went by the um, that I was going to build by the old area. But instead of building it right above there, I moved it over here. So because we just had so much real estate that we needed to fill in, I put two nodes side by side here. And you know what? Let's get these houses going. Because that only makes sense if I'm going to fill these jobs that the people live where they work. Okay, that's good. And we've got a couple more professions. Well, let's just go down here because we know that they're either foresters, they're gatherers, or they're hunters. Hunters, 53, one, two, three. Okay, and those are probably woodcutters. What do you think? 58, one, two. Isn't it neat the way that worked out? I placed these two buildings down here to get an idea of where this road needed to go, or maybe I put the road in first and then figured out what I could put here. But on the bottom row here, I'm going to put in another line of butchers. And above the butchers, we're going with houses. And I'm just now seeing again that I've got the wrong housing in. I've got housing for the forest houses. And that's going to throw me off now, too. We might make it work with forest. Whoa. Okay. This is scary when you see something like this. Because the first thing that comes to mind is, okay, a tornado touchdown. But what are we uh, sporting here? About 1,500 in population. So, yeah. Where's our nearest school to this area? I don't think we have one. Maybe we need to get like a school district and hospital going over here. <sighs> yeah, maybe so. So you know what? Why don't we do that? Do I want to go off of these buildings or? I probably want to come over here where I can start grabbing some of this population for school. So why don't we do this? Let's take a stone road, come off of this road here. We'll come across here. And in a perfect world, we'll be able to drop a school and a hospital. And there's my small town school. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. Where'd my school go? There it is. And I think uh, for this dis, oh, I guess we could go thatch. Yeah, we're still in a thatch district here. So we'll go thatch. Drop you. And then next to the school, we're going to drop another hospital. And that would be this one. No, yeah, the health center.
And I'll drop the health you thatched. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I, I think you were still thatched. That's good. Let's go ahead and block you in. And... This is going to... All right. Got another school going in there. Got another hospital. And you know one thing that we could also use over here, and I don't think it's going to impede with you. Oh, nuts. I'm in the ring of influence. Let's leave that open. Can't have that. So that ended that real quick. Now, do we build it here or do we come further up? And the reason I left this pinned is where so we could see where that ring comes around to. And unfortunately, it looks like it's behind all the trees. Nuts on a biscuit. Fair enough. I think what we're going to do, maybe we'll build it between here. Do we want to... Yeah. I think we're going to we're going to square off this a little bit. So we'll take the friendly one and we're going to come off of here. And Let's go ahead and block you right to there. I don't know if that... I'm going to go one more just to be safe. We're going to go right there. And then that's going to give us a nice little bluff to work with there. Down here, uh, there's really not much we can do here to square this area off. I guess I could bring it out to here where we come straight down and over. But, you know, that might look a little bit too Cornish. Are we missing a, a piece right there? Um, single. Which way are my lines going? Yeah, rotate. Come over and drop you in. Okay. And you know what we're going to do then? Maybe we'll start building this area up over here. Okay. Are we moving? We gotta gotta keep moving. Always moving. This was annoying because I thought that was a perfect location. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it bother me though. And you shouldn't let it bother you. Here we go. Let's I don't know how many kids we have the capacity for, but seeing that we are still 100% educated is telling me that every child that is at a student age is going to school, which is good, which is good. That's what we want. All right, guys, let's, let's move on to another area, see what's going on. If, you know, if nothing else in this episode, we're getting things built. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned, this 225 for builders, that also includes things that we have paused. For instance, all of those trading docks. Is that 10 speed? Wow. Okay. Uh, the 
all of the trading docs that we have, they have the builders accounted in there, even though we're not currently building them. This is a good sign because this is telling me that we still have room in our cemeteries. I think this was acting as the church for this area. Where's our school over? You know what? I think what I was toying the idea with is maybe putting another college over here. Just because the college holds so many people. But I don't know how well that would blend in with what we got going on here. Anyway, let's move on. This is the wall, right? I believe this is, yeah, that's the wall. So let's just kind of go down the, uh, the side over here to see if there's anything we can pay attention to. Like you, statue carver. Oh, you know, another thing that we should probably pay attention to are the mines. We want to go through and, oh, and we're going to look for red mulberry. But, you know, I'm not going to bother you guys with the traders. I'm going to do that offline. And if I find a good trade, I'll jump on it. Wow, this whole row is going to get built right here. And that's going to suck up a number of these um, houses. Hey, we brought it down to 50. And then we've got that second row of houses, which is right here, going down this side. And that's going to suck up another nice group. Okay, here we go. Let's get some more of the root crops in. So if I'm not mistaken, squash was the last root crop that we put above here. And if you beetroots and parsnips, I think these are the other two. So you are going to be parsnips, you're going to be beetroots. And we're just going to have us a grand old time here, people. Cha-ching. Now, I understand squash is not really a, a root crop, but I thought it really fit in well. One, two. I thought it really fit in well with um, what's going on here. 220K in food. This is how we roll. Uh, don't let anyone tell you that you cannot play this game aggressively. And quite honestly, this is a casual a casual game. I mean, I can do this all day long at at this pace and just enjoy the the heck out of it. Let's um see what we got here. We got two pastures. <sighs> I'm going to leave them be for now. We never did find out what happened to our leghorns, did we? Yeah, I'm going to save these for A, if we get a new animal, or B, if we need overflow space. And let's just keep going down. I really wanted to get rid of this. And it I could see already this area was flattened. I might just have to use the angry flattener to just get some of the resources out of there as well. Because I almost don't want to waste our people's time leveling this thing out. We'll figure that out offline as well. Okay. Um, something tells me we're going to get another two houses over here. There's one. There's two. So beautiful. That's coming in nicely. Did I see correctly? No, that's right. Okay. 
I mean, that is how anal I am in this game, is that I actually need my corners facing to the outside. And when I clicked on this one, I looked at the shadow of the house, and it was like, oh my gosh, are you facing the right direction? And fortunately, it was. Wow, four people moved in. Two adults, two kids, and this kid is already ready to move out. We need some more schools because that was that's a student. That student is going to school somewhere, but where the heck is the nearest school to this area? I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, it would be. In, I think it. No, those are my medieval barns. Oh, nuts on a biscuit. Yeah, we need to build some kind of a district up here. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll just start planting schools every, what, uh, 200 square spaces? And it's not like we got a teacher shortage. It's not like we've got a real estate shortage. So... Yeah. And if it, oops, hello. If anybody has any ideas, you know, by all means, feel free to chime in. This is going to sound a placer mine. Yes, please. Bring me some gold. Oh, this was our placer mining district where we. Oh, wow, we have not visited this in a long time. Remember, we were going to go all the way down here. And gold gilder, gold ore. I don't know if the plate. Well, here's a way to find out. Placer mine is bringing us ore. So we're going to need... Some kind of melt. Oh, I think these are my melters right here. Melting houses. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be groovy. Maybe hospital school it right here. Yeah, these are four deep, so hospital and school would really fit in nicely right there. So let's do that. Uh, okay, go to my family buildings. Let's go to school first. No, do we want to go school first? Hospital. I think we're going to go hospital, school, church. Because we need to bring the good word over to this area. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And let's see if that will allow us to put all three of these in uh, churchy. And I'm going to do my small town one just because I love this chapel. One, two, oops, hello. Save, two, three. Come right up to the road. Right there. I'm going to drop you in like that you know that the happiness ring of influence is not really great on this but you know what it really oh we got a fire let's drop that in I'm not even gonna pause it because oops I'm not gonna pause the building because I want them to build it here's our fire let's uh, burn baby burn and let's watch this Disco Inferno go up. And it's out already. Because this is how we roll. Dock House. They're going to rebuild that. And that is for the one we just did. What are the chances we can find where we were? And I don't think my timer went off yet. Okay, where did I place that church? Someplace out here. Was it down here? 
There, oh my gosh. Wow, that was freaky scary. Okay, next to the church, we're going to build a school because we want educated children. This one, small town school. And you know what? I think we are still rural enough to go with the thatch roof here. How does shingle look compared to these? Nah, shingle blends in. Okay, so one space between there. Boom, there's our school. And now we need a hospital going next to that. I'm going to keep that shingle roof. Just like that. And you know what? We actually could have kept that stockpile there. Uh, what are the chances that we can get a 20 by 19 cemetery behind there? It's not my preference. I mean, we're going to go with, you know, we'll have to do a nice one for this area. Let's come off of the church, go one up, and what can we put in? It'll take us out to an 18. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to uh, build this area out. I'm going to come three over. Build the shoreline there. And then we're going to drop a cemetery. Ah, oh, nuts. We are one shy. Oh, fudge sickles. Fudge sickles. Okay. There is a way to circumvent this. Pause. And that would be to take the church and go the long way with it. And I think that might be what we're going to do. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, oh, man. That looked good. Because the way that the buildings were kind of coming down like this, it kind of contrasted the shoreline. But it wasn't practical for what we wanted. So let's start over again. Let's go to these family buildings. We're going to go to the church. We're going to take our small town one. We're going to flip it around until it goes like this, and it's actually going to face the people. Like that. Put it in. Now we're going to grab our school, and we're going to do the small town one, and we're going to go with the shingles, and we're going to go next door, like that, and cha-ching. And then we're going to take our hospital like this. There's thatch. There's shingles. Come over here. Go like this. Paching. Go down there. We needed to come over about three spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the friendly flattener because I want the resources. And we're going to come right off of this. And I think we needed to come over three. Five. I think I'm going to take it to right there. Uh, it's a little overkill at the bottom, but that'll work. And then we're going to go ahead and drop in an awesome cemetery right here and because um, I, I guarantee you we will be needing it 
at some time. I almost want to say that this is probably going to take us to the end. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're down to 143. If when if when this drops below, oh, wow, the houses are going in. There is a road in between there, isn't there? Good. Single road. Yep. Remember how I was wigging out about this, that there's going to be too much space between these? No, these are perfectly spaced. Check it out. One. All right. It did work out well. So these are those new little houses that we were toying with. The, these guys right here, the Tudors. And now that it's spring or summer or whatever, you can see the roofs. This is the roof I have chosen just because it's a nice contrast and it's kind of natural. But if you flip through here, you got red, orange, green, blue. That's kind of a beige-ish. Maybe let's call it tan. And then we'll call this gray or charcoal or graphite. But they didn't have graphite back then. So anyway, those are some different options. I just thought we'll go with a nice natural because this kind of is a natural community. And the barns are going to be really cool. I'm almost thinking I should have gone with the tan roof to maybe contrast that better. But you know what? If that is the biggest of my problems, then things are cool. Still hard to believe that we're sporting 10 speed right now. Let's go, guys. But you know what? I'm happy with it. Heck, the, the laptop I had before, I couldn't even do 100 people and it would start lagging. I don't know if we're actually going to get to 3,000. Maybe that was biting a little bit too much of the apple. Uh, we'll see where we go to. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to call that the episode. I will look around a little bit more offline to see if there's something that we can do somewhere else. I'm glad that we um, found another place for a school. I need to start getting the schools more towards the outer regions because I realize that the outer regions are very rural, shall we say. What? What are you? Another miner. Cool. This is going to be a really interesting district. I also like this little one up here. This little boardwalk. We got three duck blinds. If you guys remember those. When we put those in. And I think that's where some of our hunters have gone. And I got this little fishing dock here. It's like a little private. Or maybe it's a community dock. And then for these uh, four buildings, we got these people right here that, you know, they're okay. Those are miners. Okay, that's another thing we needed to do is get some housing for these people. And I can see that this is open. So let's go ahead and think about a housing district back here for these people. And... You know what? As close as it is, I may just build another school over here. So this over here will be for everybody on the west. I'm sorry, the east side. And then this over here would be for the west side. Cool, guys. Another pen district I should probably consider also. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot for coming on this adventure with me. Oh, the salt houses are going in. Here we go. One, two. Oh, and another one. We'll take that. Oh. And another one. I don't have any idea where... The oh, you know what? They must be going to the... Um, 
where the where the big pasture fields were because I think we put some salt houses up there as well. It looks like we've got room for some miners. So let's just do a really quick drop down here. Holy nuts, nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, more than that. There we go. Wow. Okay. So now the mines are back into production. And also offline, I'm going to do a mine check just to make sure that they are actually producing what they should. I might want to look into all this dead land here. Why aren't these mines getting built? Or maybe they are and we just don't know it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call this the episode. Uh, thanks a lot for coming on this adventure with me. If you liked it, please give me a like. If you didn't like it, hey, sorry. Give me a like anyway. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And then tell 10 friends or just tell 10 people randomly. Call them. Snapchat, TikTok, FaceTime. You've got all those. Discord them. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I am out of here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I just went black on you. Here we go. And stop. Bye-bye.